In July, the U.S. Border Patrol reported 56,408 incidents of border hopping between checkpoints. According to the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, led by Alejandro Mayorkas, these encounters were 32% lower compared to June 2024 and the lowest since September 2020. This glowing number was meant to ease fears as Kamala Harris tries to navigate voter frustration over Biden's failed border policies. But it's far from the truth. Here's the fuzzy math and diversion tactics the Biden administration used to get these numbers. Since 2021, Mayorkas, Biden, and Harris have allowed at least 10 million migrants to enter the United States, most of whom remain in the country. The two main ways that illegal migrants enter the country are through the CBP-1 cell phone app and the CHNV parole program, which is for workers from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. Representative Mark Green, Republican, Tennessee, the chairman of the House Committee on Homeland Security, pointed out that over 765,000 appointments have been scheduled through the CBP-1 app since January 2023. More than 520,000 people who were not supposed to enter the country have been released into the United States through the CHNV Mass Parole Program. Together, these two programs have allowed over 1. 28 million people who weren't admissible to enter the U.S. during the first half of the year. This number is higher than the 1 million legal immigrants allowed yearly under a law passed by Congress in 1990. Green explains that Mayorkas and other officials encourage ineligible to enter through official entry points instead of sneaking between them. There, they can be turned back. This makes it look like things are improving but it's putting more pressure on our communities. This administration is orchestrating a massive shell game, Green concludes. Many more migrants are coming into the country through an expanding refugee program and relaxed enforcement policies, which provide safe places for over 117 million gotaways who sneaked across the border. New safe mobility centers are also being set up in other countries to help migrants apply for visas to enter the U.S. Additionally, Mexico's government is helping to reduce the number of migrants coming to the U.S. to prevent Trump from getting back into the White House. After the election, Mexico is expected to return to its usual policy of helping migrants get to the United States. Fuzzy math, shell games, and lies aside, the media couldn't get enough. The Associated Press reported that arrests for illegal border crossings from Mexico dropped by 33 percent in July hitting the lowest level since September 2020. They said officials claim this was because asylum was paused. These numbers, the AP boasted, might give Democrats a break from the ongoing challenges they faced during Joe Biden's presidency. The Associated Press revealed much later in the same article that while border arrests dropped by 33% in July, more than 38,000 additional people were allowed to enter the U.S. through land crossings using CBP-1. They admitted that since January 2023, nearly 80,000 people have used this system. Additionally, they acknowledged that more than 500,000 people from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela were admitted by July through a different program that lets them apply online with a financial sponsor and arrive by plane. These permits were stopped due to worries about fraud by sponsors. CBS News, Camilo Montoya Galvez, a reporter from Colombia, shared that President Biden's decision to limit asylum processing at the southern border has caused a big drop in the number of migrants. In July, she said only 56,400 people were caught illegally crossing the border between official entry points. She claimed it is the lowest number in nearly four years but CBS was forced to acknowledge that about half of those migrants were sent back under new policies created by Biden's team as an election strategy ahead of the upcoming election. They cautioned that these policies might be overturned by judges after the election. Shell games, lies, and faulty math are the only strategies Democrats have left on the issue of illegal immigration. It's a big gamble, but it's one that the liberal media is willing to invest in.